Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Phantomet coming back at you with another uh, unroot video. Uh, and this time, we're going to be unrooting from Gingerbread122 back to Stock Froyo. This was a question that came up in my video thread here of how to unroot your Samsung Epic 4G to install Gingerbread E122 update. So basically, we're doing the, re the reverse. We're going from E122 to E um, C05. So this is how it goes. Basically, I need you to watch this video here first. Uh, Phantomet1 is my channel. Please subscribe if it helps you out. Uh, go to this video here. Um, what you're going to see in this video is how to download these two files right here. You're definitely going to need these files. Uh, I have the links uh, in my video thing here so that you can get those files. So what you need to do is get those files because you're going to need to install those files to your SD card on your phone. So you're going to need to connect your phone to your computer and install those two files to your zip card. Uh, that way they're just wide open. And then from there we're going to go into clockwork and uh, basically uh, recovery mode and we're going to install these files from the phone. So basically I've already done the first half. I've downloaded the file there on the bottom, the format file. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that now, and right now I'm getting ready to go into my second stage here and do the stock recovery, uh, the EC05. Uh, so let me put this down here so you guys can get a better view. Okay, basically what you're going to do, okay, so if you're in gingerbread, uh, root, you're on a rooted gingerbread system, you definitely, because what we're doing here is we're trying to go to the new EL30 update. Uh, anytime there's a Sprint update, there's an Android update, you always have to unroot your phone in order to get the best possible, um, you know, download to your setup. That way, there's no mistakes. It's a flawless download, no issues. Your stock, you know, you won't run into any problems. So I'm here to help you with that. Uh, basically, my my phone was rooted, so I was on Gingerbread rooted, and so far I've done the um, the first process of the format. So what you do, okay, rooted gingerbread right now, you need to turn, you know, first off, save any files you need to save, okay, because it's going to wipe everything. So save your pictures, your music, blah, 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 whatever. Just copy it to the computer and then put it back when you're done. Okay, turn off your phone, and what you're going to do, once your phone is completely powered off, you're going to go into clockwork, mo clockwork mode, recovery mode, by pressing down the power button and the camera button, at the same time so down volume button power and camera button at the same time you're just going to hold those down until you're into this mode here i'm already there so i don't need to do it again so now once you're in here i'm going to show you the first process of how i did it you're going to go down to install zip from sd card once you're there hit the camera button now you're going to go to choose zip from sd card hit the camera button okay right there on the bottom there I was, REFS Format ROM. Click on that first. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, you'll see it when it's in your thing. Basically, click on that. It's going to go through the process of reformatting the phone, and you'll be back to stock royal. Now, you're not going to be completely done yet. You still need to go into this bottom one here, the stock recovery okay so once you get into your format ROM and it does everything it has to do what you're gonna do is go hit the back button and then you're gonna hit the back button again and you're gonna go reboot system now okay your phone is gonna start all over again and once it comes back up you're gonna see that your phone is back to stock Froil. okay you're not done now what you need to do process again Turn your phone off, wait till it's completely done, and go back into clockwork mode. Okay, recovery. Volume down, camera button, and the power button. At the same time, go back into this mode. Now, this is where I'm at. Okay, so now we're going to go down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And we're going to go down to the stock recovery and hit the camera button. Yes, install Epic 4G stock recovery. Boom, there it goes. Okay. 
install from SD card complete. Now what you're going to do, go back, reboot system now, and we'll wait for that to come back up. <coughs> so how about that 49er game? Could you believe that? Oh my God. I'm a 49er fan, so I was a little disappointed when uh, they fumbled that ball. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Oh well, next year. I guess go Patriots. Okay, so now we're basically back to stock Royal. Now, now that you're stock, you should have absolutely no problems updating your phone to whatever it needs to update. Um, here we can go into settings. See right there, an update is available. Oh, that's voicemail, never mind. You can go to your phone here, about phone, system updates. Go ahead and just, you know, hit update firmware, update Android, whatever you have to do uh, for it to update. Let's see what it does here for a minute. Um, but from this point, you should be able to download your EL30 uh, or E122, then to EL30, whatever it does. Basically, I'm just showing you how to take it back to stock, making it real simple for you guys. Okay, so, I mean, if it doesn't say that, you know, there's an update, give it time. You know how the updates roll out. You know, it rolls out its sets. Uh, this morning, I actually received the, you know, update option for the EL30. Uh, but I did not want to install it yet because I did my research first and found that I had to I had to unroot my phone first in order for everything to install properly. So basically, within the time that it took me this morning to do it, I didn't find a whole lot of information on it. But I realized that my original video here worked. So go ahead, you know, and do the process. See right here, it's updating Gingerbread. So once that updates, it just started doing it automatically. Once that updates. Now I'm going to be able to download the EL30 update, and you'll have all the updates for your new Epic 4G, Android, firmware, blah, 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 whatever. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you. Uh, please subscribe. I constantly throw up videos that are just uh, easy to follow and uh, stupid videos that just teach people how to do the simplest things. Uh, so have a good day.